Hello, my name is Michael Simpson. I'm Director of Visual Arts at the Lowry in Salford. The Lowry is a fantastic venue, uh, art centre. The reason I love it is it values visual arts, theatre and all the engagement work with local communities. It values all of three of those things equally. Uh, it's a much loved venue uh, and I pretty much think I've got the dream job to be honest. So my job is to look after the visual arts side of what the Lowry does. So that combines looking after the, our collection of paintings by the artist L.S. Lowry. L.S. Lowry was an artist born in the Victorian age, died in 1976, particularly well known for his paintings of the industrial scene in the 1920s and 1930s, but also in the 50s and 60s he was being, doing very honest uh, works about his personal feelings, about his feelings of loneliness and isolation, um, which uh, today that's hard for people to talk about, but in the 50s and 60s was really quite remarkable for him to be making paintings and talking about such things. So it's an extraordinary collection and did lots of other stuff as well. So I look after that collection on the one hand and on the other hand I put together a rolling programme of exhibitions normally contemporary art exhibitions uh, and they are usually based around particular themes, quite often performance related because we're in a venue that has a lot of performance, but also uh, we work with individual artists on very specific ideas um, and they're great shows too because it means you get a really fantastic relationship with the artists. And we're always thinking about well, who are we doing these exhibitions for who, who likes come to the Lowry? Who would we like to see come to the Lowry who don't now? How can we engage with as wide and as diverse a range of audiences as we possibly can? Um, and that's always a big part of our thinking. Um, how did I get the job? Background, previous roles, education. Oh, it's a really long story. I'll try and keep it short. Basically, I was going to be a librarian. When I was young, I was going to be a librarian. I love books. I love being in libraries and I thought right, I'll be a librarian and I needed to get two E grades at, you know, uh, for my A levels to get to university to become a librarian. Um, so I needed two E grades and I got an E and two Fs. So I failed spectacularly. Um, I like to think of them as my wild years. It was a wild couple of months basically, that was it. But it, it basically it was horrifying for my family and for my um, uh, tutors, teachers and so on. Um, so I kind of went off with the tail between my legs. Became unemployed, um, was drawing, in those days it was called drawing the dolls. I used to get the doll, I used to get this hand out every week. Um, uh, it was horrible, but quite early on, I was quite lucky government brought in a scheme called Youth Opportunity Programmes where they would pretty much place you um, in a place of work uh, and you would have to work five days a week, nine to five, and you got a tiny bit more money than if you were unemployed. Um, but you pretty much went where they told you. And just purely by random, I was plonked into a museum and art gallery. And I thought, what the heck am I gonna do? Because I'd grown up, we didn't have any paintings on the wall or posters or postcards on the mantelpiece, didn't have a mantelpiece. Um, really, honestly, wasn't interested in art particularly at all. Loved music, but wasn't interested in art. Um, and I thought, what on earth am I going to be doing? Within a week, I'd absolutely fallen in love with all these paintings and sculptures that were around me. 18th century, 19th century, modern 20th century works, contemporary works. Um, just, just fell in love with that. I just, just so many things to look at, so many things to talk about, so many things to think about. Loved having conversations about it. Um, and I was really lucky, I had a fantastic mentor and she nurtured me through the year and guided, did a mixture of guiding and, and steering and, and bullying me basically into going back to doing evening classes and doing my A-levels again. And this time I got the grades. And this time after that, I went on to do History of Art at the University of East Anglia. Had a fantastic time, went in thinking I was gonna be an 18th century specialist, came out 
having fallen in love with contemporary art and working with artists. Um, and after that, I was lucky, went on to a museum studies course at the University of Manchester, uh, worked at the Whitworth Art Gallery, which is the University Gallery in Manchester, um, Liverpool, Wakefield, Bradford, um, Imperial War Museum North, which was just opening across the way from the Lowry, and, and I've ended up here and I'm absolutely delighted. What does a typical day look like? There isn't a typical day. That's the great thing I think about working in the creative sector. No, genuinely, no two days are the same. You're either doing things that need doing now, putting things in galleries or, or whatever, or you're spending a lot of time just nurturing artists, having conversations about exhibitions that might be years ahead, um, thinking about what would make a really good exhibition and how can I engage as many people as possible with it. Um, don't tell my boss, but I spend a lot of time just staring out the window, thinking about exhibition ideas, thinking about how to do things, how to do things differently, um, how to, who to work with and so on. Uh, worst part of my job, uh, anyone who works with me will tell you that I'm, I'm not very good at thinking strategically. I'm more impulsive and creative and ideas. I love all that sort of thing. I'm not very good at thinking strategically, but the great thing is I'm surrounded by people who are. And so working as part of that team, getting that support, being, you know, saying, look, I need help here is something uh, that I do if I'm, when it's working on something like that, I'm lucky enough to be working with people who are really good at it. Um, best part of the job, working with artists, working with art, um, and then seeing people in the galleries engaging with it. You can do the best exhibition in the world, but if nobody's in there, what's the point? And you want just to just want as many people, as diverse a range of people as possible, looking at what, what you've done with an artist. It's the most satisfying thing in the world. Key skills and attributes and advice. Um, my key bit of advice would be persi be persistent. I've had loads of knockbacks in my life. Uh, and in my career and I was just persistent I just kept at it you you you'll have an, I promise you you'll have loads of knockbacks in your career particularly in the early years as you're trying to establish yourself and trying to get your ideas in in, in together and and get those breaks those lucky breaks sometimes that you need so it's a mixture of luck but it's also a mixture of hard work um, and it's and it's just being persistent. Just keep getting up in the morning and keep doing it. Um, and key thing for me is about building up your knowledge and your experience of art form. So even if you think I'm just interested in contemporary art, say, still look at Renaissance painting and Victorian painting and Georgian painting and, and read poetry and read books and go to theatre and watch really good telly and, and listen to podcasts, listen to the radio. Just build up as much as you possibly can. Get different voices, different perspectives, different ideas. Um, and it all just comes together and I promise you, promise you it, will, it will all be kind of money in the bank as you develop your career. So uh, there, there are certainly skills around increasingly around um, relationships with with artists and with audiences and project management and all those sorts of things are all really important but the bottom line is just make sure that you have as wide or as broad a range of of creative ideas in your head as you can possibly build up and you can do that just by looking at lots of lots of different stuff okay thank you very much <laughs>